Hey, Mark Warnke here. They call me the goat guy. So here's something that I new goat owners with struggle with a lot. And um, uh, I see it all the time is they will have horned goats and leave the collars on. It will only be a matter of time before you're going to have one hook the collar, spin it, and then choke them out and they'll die. Um, it's very, very, especially if you're using buckles. Um, it's very important that you do not keep collars on them in the pasture. And it's one of the reasons that I made the collar that we made. Because if you're taking your goats and you're working with them a lot like I am, um, they have to have their collar off in the pasture. But then when you want to put it on, if you're monkeying it around with a buckle, it's an extra like three steps to put a buckle on. And lots of them don't like to have um, their collar put on them because they know it's time to work. So when with just a quick click, um, you can get the, a, a goat strength collar from packoats.com. And I'm not trying to sell collars. What I'm trying to do is tell you, do not leave collars on your goats in your pasture. You, you will have one of them die for sure one of these days. And uh, it can really be a bad thing. So please make sure you're not leaving collars on your goats in the pasture. So I'm Mark Warnke. Um, you can learn more about goats on packoats.com. Um, I hope you find this helpful. Make sure you click the subscribe, you leave comments, and we have an entire tutorial and courses and a goat club membership where you can watch me raise goats all year. I highly recommend you become a part of that if you're a newer goat owner. If that little piece of information I just shared with you was like a aha, then there's tons more that you need to know to keep your goats healthy and safe. So I hope you find that helpful. Mark Warnke signing out.